guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be talking about my finish by seven update number one yes this video is like 10 days late i'm really really sorry but i've made a whole bunch of progress on my products also excuse my appearance i woke up late for work today so i just threw on some quick makeup i have nail polish missing from these fingers um this is real life this isn't a friday this is a tuesday i have 30 minutes to film this so let's just jump right in Alright, so first item I have is an item that I really want to stop using. I don't think it works for me anymore. I think it's breaking me out and I think it's causing my foundation to shift colors. And the product is my NYC Sunny Bronzer. So here's what I have on it. This is Progress. Before you guys could only see the tiny bit of the ring there in the middle, but now you see a larger one. I haven't been using this this much because I do think it's breaking me out and I do think it's causing my foundation to shift to an orange color or it's giving my face an orange hue and it might be just because of the foundation that I'm using now. I'm I'm not sure so I haven't been reaching for it so I don't think I'm going to finish this one. I actually think I'm going to declutter it out of my collection. Um, I will keep using it. I'm trying to use different techniques. Maybe I'm doing my bronzer too big. Maybe the brush I'm using is just dis disturbing sorry disturbing my foundation so I am trying different ways to use this but this won't be done by the time March happens but that's what I have so far okay so on my snapchat I showed you guys that my NYX banana powder fell on my floor in the bathroom and it crumbled so here's what I could save and a lot of you have been asking for me to do a repressing video so I've been saving this broken product for my repressing video I'm not too worried about having this much product left I hope you guys can see how much is left just because I know I can go through it pretty fast so yeah that one's broken I'll repress it and I'll do a video for you guys but I knew I was going to go through that one really fast, so I did select a second setting powder, and that is my Wet n Wild Fergie, what's it called, Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. They did just repackage this. It's now just Wet n Wild. Fergie is no longer connected to it, but here it is right here. There is not a lot in this blush. I mean, if, there's not a lot in this powder. There is 0.2 ounces. So you can go through this very, very, very quickly. And so yeah, I'm trying to hold it to where you guys can see. There we go. That's how much pan is showing. This will definitely be done by the time March happens. And I feel pretty confident that the NYX one will be done as well. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit nasally or congested. I've been sick for like the past week and a half with like allergies and like um, an upper respiratory infection. So that's why this video is also so late because I was supposed to film it last Friday, but I was to the point where my voice was almost gone. So I couldn't film for you guys, but I'm filming right now. <laughs> and then here is my color tattoo in pure nude. So I originally wanted to get the whole thing done this challenge but realistically I think I can get half of it done because I have a quarter of it done now so let's see focus so there it is as you can tell I have this top corner done and I'm really thinning out this section right here I am using a synthetic brush I got this tip from pretty pistols 86 or cherish and ever since she gave me that tip I am applying this better it's easier to blend because like before with my fingers it would be a little bit patchy and it wouldn't be smooth so I'd have to go in multiple times with my fingers to put it on but now that I'm using a synthetic brush it's been loads better and the product is smooth it's even it's not patchy and I feel like I'm not overusing it because I feel with my, my fingers like I would go so many times to get the right amount of product that I would just have build up on this finger and on the brush like I swoop it maybe once or twice and then I put it on my eyes and we're perfect but yeah I've been using this as a base obviously not wearing it today because I woke up super duper late for work but there it is right there. So I do think I can get half of this done by the time March comes around. 
because we have a quart of it done now. And I did finish a product during this month. So this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. The mark starting to wear off, but it is right there. So one thing I didn't realize when I put this product in this challenge is that this bottle tapers at the bottom. So there's less product down here than there is up here. So that's why I went through it so quickly. And yeah, I really, really do like this. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but during the year of 2016, I'm gonna save all of my empty beauty products, like my makeup products, and save them for a end of the year beauty makeup empties. So this will be in there. But if you guys would still like some kind of review on this, I know I promised I would have a review on this, but then I just went through it so quickly. Definitely let me know because I am going to be repurchasing this without a doubt. This is Ginger 06 and it's completely done. Okay, so you guys are gonna get a sneak peek into my Project 55 pan with this because as you know, there are three shadows in here that I'm using in my Project 55 pan. And that video should be up probably at the end of February. I decided to do every two months just because there's so many products. I don't see how there's going to be results if I do it every single month because I'm not gonna use every single item. But anyways, so sneak peek into my Project 55 pan and you guys will get to see the current shadow. So. This is the shadow that I am panning right now. I forgot what it's called. I wanna say it's called Barefoot, but this is it right here. If that's not the correct name, I will definitely have it listed right here. But as you can tell, I have a, like almost cleaned this out. Like, so we have a little bit here and along this way, but there's nothing right there. So how I use this is I would get pure nude. I would put it all over my lids. And then I would get this shade, which is, I believe, barefoot, and I'll put it all over my lids again just to help mattify and concrete that, not mattify, mattify is the wrong word, but like basically it's like help the color tattoo be long lasting. And then I'll go in with this color, which I want to say is she seashell, which I think that's totally wrong. I would go in with this shade and put it all over. Because if I use the pure nude and this shade right here, this middle one, my eye looks my eyelids looked really, really white. And so if I use this shade, it kind of nuded them down. And then I use this one, which is Sun Deck, and I would use that in my crease. I'm still currently using it. This has been my go-to look. And also one thing for you guys to know that these, if you have this palette, I'm not sure if it goes for every single Tarte palette there is, but if you have this palette, the shimmery colors are super duper soft once you get through like the first two layers. Cause right now, like this one, it's not super duper soft, but it's, you know, it's kind of soft and it's highly pigmented, but this one is just like super soft. There's kind of a lot of fallout. And I'm not sure if that's because this is an old palette or if that's how all of their shimmering um, shadows are. But this matte one is super finely packed in and it's hard to get a color payoff of. And that might be just because this is a very nudie color. But once you get like down to the low part, it's pretty fast to go through. So yeah, I just a reminder, I'm doing a Project 7 pan on this one. This one and this one are part of my Project 55 as well as this one, but I'm really only only focusing on this one. And I definitely think this one will be gone by the next update for sure if I use it every single day. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been blinding you guys with this mirror this whole time, I'm so sorry. But there we go, so that is everything that's in my Finish 7 by Spring. Let me know if you guys are doing Project Pan videos down below or if you're doing some kind of makeup clean out decluttering series. Definitely let me, let me know down below. Yeah, thanks guys. Have a beauty filled day. Bye.